Shalom. Welcome to the Nativo Shalom Shir. Hag Sameach. Tonight is Pesach Sheni. And we're going to be talking about Pesach Sheni. We're not going to be talking about the uh, anything with the Tibo Shalom specifically, but a couple of different things, talking about Pesach Sheni, what it is, and the key of Pesach Sheni, the key that, that helps us in our lives, is it tells us that we have a second chance. Hashem gives us a second chance to correct whatever we might have messed up on. So let's let's begin. You can see the share there. And the, the Torah says as follows in Bamidbar. It says, There were people who were impure because of coming because of coming in contact with uh with dead people or with other impure objects. They weren't able to keep the, the Pesach on the the 15th of, of Nisan, uh, uh, on the 15th of Nisan, as the, the, Torah, the Torah commanded, whereas they weren't able to sacrifice uh, the, the, Korban, the Korban Pesach. When they came before Moshe and Aaron that, uh, that day, they came, they said to Moshe, oh, we are impure because of contact with something that was tummy. But why are we not allowed to bring this wonderful Pesach offering, Paschal offering with everybody else? Moshe, Moshe said, Wait, and I will will listen to what God commands you. Then the Pasuk goes on. Hashem Moshe. Lamor. Hashem spoke to Moshe in answer to his question. Now, Rabbi Yisrael, Lamor, speak to the children of Israel, saying, Ish, ish, ki, atami, lenefesh. If there's a person who at the time of, of requiring the offering of the Paschal Lamb on the first Pesach, yeah, Tommy Nefesh, he's he's Tommy, he's unclean by virtue of coming in contact with a dead person or with contact with something else that renders one unclean, renders one tummy. Over Derek Rechoko, if he's too far to to be able to come and, and take part in the uh, the sa sacrifice, uh Lochem Lodorasechem for you or for your generations, Vasa Pesach Lashem to make the the korban offering korban pesach offering to God, b'chodesh hasheni, on the second month month of Iyar, bar ba'ostri yom, ben raboim on the fourteenth day, at at even, evening time, yasoso al matzu shabrorim yachlu. You make a pesach sheni, and you make the the. Uh, Pesach Sheni on matzos and, and bitter herbs that you shall eat. Lo yisharon menu ad boker, but don't just like the korban Pesach, don't leave it over till morning. Get some leish bro bow, don't break a bone. Kachalak kuchasa Pesach yaso. So, according to all the laws of Pesach, you should keep Pesach Sheni. Of course, halachically today we don't have any uh, any particular laws that pertain to Pesach Sheni. We're allowed to do work. Uh, we don't say tachna and shul, but we don't say halal either. Uh, customary for some people to eat matzah, uh, but uh, other than that, no. But this gave them the second chance, second opportunity to offer the korban pesach. Uh, but you who were unable to do it, we give you a second chance. But those who were able who were pure, who were not Tome, and they were not too far away, and they could do the Pesach, and they refused to bring the Paschal offering. That person will be cut off from the Jewish people. They didn't bring the, the Paschal offering in the, in the proper time. They'll bear their, their bear, they'll, 
they will bear their sin. Now, here's a, a Torah from the Lubavitch Rabbi, Benachem Mendel. Rabbi Lubavitch, the Kutte Sichot, he wrote as follows, Chomei Tzumatza, the Kibon, Shavoda the Pesach Rishon, who sur meira, the service to God on the first Pesach is to turn away from evil. Bricha, Bricha meira, to run away from evil. Therefore, we have the obligation on the first place to get rid of the chomets. The chomets, harome zal hara. Chomets is, leaven product is uh, hinting at, at what is bad. Or the, the yeast in the flour. So there should be no chomets in your, in your possession. Masha'en came Pesach Sheni, but that's not the case in Pesach Sheni tonight. The whole aspect of Pesach Sheni is to turn around, turn the, the thing that was bad into the good. So we don't have to uh, search to remove the chomets from your from your uh, possession. Masha'en came Pesach Sheni. Unlike Pesach Sheni, I just I skipped one. I'm sorry, I went the back. Ella chomet to matzah imo bais. On Pesach Sheni, chomet and matzah are together with together in the house. Yai nei Pesach Sheni, nitan hakoach lahapoch as a chomet lekedusha. Because on Pesach Sheni we have the opportunity, the opportunity to turn what was what would have been chomet representing ra into something that is holy. Ulam, Pesach Sheni, Hainu Limud Atzum Nosem. We can learn something very deep from Pesach Sheni. Ki Achein, he says, Ein Shum Yiush Ba'olam Kalau. There is no such thing as giving up. There is no such thing as, as saying, nothing I can do. Ein Yiush Ba'olam Kalau. Aflami Shenit Malinefesh Alam, even though that person who is, who is Tomei, Somebody who's far away from Hashem. Person who thinks he has no possible way. She is Kari Blavore, the Bori is to come close to God. He feels that he's fallen, fallen so far away from God. Afhu, even that person, low rock Yisakesh, not. Not just because of his, his stubbornness, low rock is kari emes letzadi koemes, not not require him to come close to a a, a true tzadi. Toch rotzon kain b'toch chafetzos from his strength, the kari l'bori olam he can come close to God. But Yizak and he yells out be his chane l'Hashem, he prays to Hashem. Lama nigra levilti, he creep korban Hashem. Why are you? Denying to me the opportunity to bring an offering to God. They wrote, Should Tamasius Nabshi, because I have made my soul Tome, they wrote, Shays Rachti Biboriolum, because I've made myself far away from God. They wrote, I call, despite all this, and he wrote, sir, I want the Chafetz, I desire, Mishtokek, and it's, it's my yearning, Lavodas Hashem. The Pachuk Biachshav, regardless of what I've done in the past, my yearning, my my desire is to right from this moment start start serving serving Hashem again. from this point onward, because there's certainly a way that I can accomplish this. And then by making this request, showing your desire. To change, God will have mercy upon you. You'll be able to come up to a higher place. And through this, you you are merited to have this, this parsha of of Pesach Sheni added in the Torah. Because you're you're searching for. And you're wanting 
to know the place of your holiness. How can I reach this place of your holiness? Because of this, Zochin Acher Kach Bigalos Hatora. You'll be you you will have the merit to receive this to reveal the secrets of the Torah. So that's that's what the Lubavitcher Rebbe says. Pesach Sheni makes you understand that there is no use. There's no giving up. We always have the opportunity to come back to Hashem. There's a second chance. And we have the opportunity to ask God to give us a second chance. From that point on, we could do better. Now, here's a story, a very interesting story. Rabbi Yehudi Yosfi, Makayim Shir Kavua, Maparsha Zeshvua, Yom Chamishi. Every Thursday, this Rav uh, 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 Yehudi Yosfi, we give a shear. A shear hanerach be beta kadesh shall kehilat oli mishad ha parsit. In a, in a, a, a Persian synagogue, the achore beta kadesh is a god of the Brak, which is just behind the, the great beta kadesh at the great shul in Bene Brak. Aron. Aron echa mishtafi makvu be shear. Aron was a person who uh, came to this shear, to this class all the time. He has a friend. He wanted to convince his friend Ayo. He wasn't a, he was one of his friends, but he didn't keep the mitzvot. He wanted him to come to the shir. He promised, Aaron promised Ayo. He said that the, the Rebbe in the shir talks about really deep things. And it's not just trying to make you be a, a better Jew. He just talks about things that are that are uh, that, that, will, that will be for your liking. We benefit with so for Shodover. So after that buzzing, after trying to convince uh, Ayal, uh, he tries Ayal. He came like he agreed, and he agreed to come to the shear. So the chila he say kashir, but partials from the beginning. The the uh, Rabbi Yehud Yosfi gave a shear about the partial of the the weekly Torah reading. Rav Dibral and Midrash, he talked about the Midrash from the Gemara and the Gemara Hamasaper that talks about after it was it was became known that that Moshe Rabbeinu had uh, killed the Egyptian. Kiparo lachades Moshe l'acher shaharagas hamisri. Paro wanted, after he found out that Moshe had killed an Egyptian, brought to Lohar, he wanted to kill Moshe. Oz Nasa Moshe Nase. So a miracle appeared to Moshe. Makasha Hunfa Hiram Al Savoro Hu Apach the Shaish. When when the the sword was raised against over his neck to cut his head off, and the, the sword came down, his neck became like marble. Broke the sword. The chain of Sof, it's Lech Moshe, the Mali, the Armon Paro. And in the end, as we all know, Moshe was able to flee from the palace of Paro. Rav Yosi, Rav Yosfi, Siam, the Lavos Atsuma, as Miskanat, as Maskanot Hamidrash. Rav Yosi at the end, with great fire and great enthusiasm, said, This is the message. This is the message of this Pasik. It says, Even if a sword is hanging over your head, ready to chop your head off, don't give up the mercy of Hashem, that the mercy of Hashem can still save you. Ayo Shomas Midrash. Ayo, his friend, heard this this interpretation, this midrash, Mas Kanto. He started, he started yelling. I came here to this year to hear about a story about a neck that turned into marble. What kind of foolishness is this? Is this, this all you religious people have to sell? So he was very upset at us. He made us, he's made his feelings known. Uyotza, 
Ba'atul Smukkara. He went out angrily. Ba'afilu harav hivchim b'kach. The 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 rab understood this. Or on its tire al kach. His friend Or was very, very upset with this. Was felt very sorry for this. That shir niftach the midrash, ho bufla. This wonderful shir that is given. Shugorim la'ayol libroach. Yashir b'terem yashmiu harav dibri asemarat with these these chazkos. He was so upset that I ran away from this, from the shear, from having be able to hear what the Rebbe was saying. So, Hashir Hashivui Hemshech Lidnahel Kisidro. The shear continued every Thursday night. Now, time passes. Lachir Shin time, two years later. Chifchin Rav Yosfi Basim Hashir, the Bokhar Hamad Ibzakantoran. He, at, Rabbi Yossi, at the end of his year, recognized uh, a, a sweet-looking young man with a beard. Uh, the young man came to the Rav and asked him if he, if he remembered him. Do you remember me? The Rav was trying to remember. It says, uh, truthfully, I really don't remember you. He says, Ani Ayo. I am Ayo. I'm the one who yelled and screamed at your shear two years ago. Ah, Cain. Yes, the rabbi says. What happened to you since then? Where were you? Where, where were you all this time? Where were you rolling around? So Ayo then told him a story. He went to the Far East. After a period of time, uh, he went to Japan. He joined up with the Japanese mafia, the Ikuza. Once it happened in, in one of the cities uh, where the, the head of the Izuka, the mafia, was located, they, they suspected Ayo of deceiving them, of defrauding them. Besting saw that they had a, a court assembled together. And they, they, Decreed, they found him guilty of what he was charged with. And they said he they sentenced him to death by a samurai sword. Kabuvan. Shilo nitan letar bemilim as a harada. Shoisa menas chelko. Mimatam pesak kadin. There's no words to describe his fear that he felt at the, the giving of this judgment. Van lemoe be it so until the time came. To execute it, Yom Hamiud Hashchivu Es Ayo Al Shulchan, and the day that was set for his execution, they brought him to the table. Hamiuchad, a specific table that was used used for this, Lo Tzal Lahoreg. They brought him out to kill him. Rufo Hayu Kapos, his body was 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 bent over. Rosho Hayu Akud, his neck was stretched out. Muchan Lechrisat Ba'av. His neck was stretched out to receive the blow of this samurai sword. At that moment, I'll remember the shear of the Torah. And he remembered, he remembered two years ago the words of the of the Rav. Even if a sword is hanging over your neck, do not give up on mercy, on the mercy of Hashem that Hashem can bring to you. He's staying there moments before, if they most before his death, from this Japanese sword. Rolled his eyes upwards, and he screamed, Master of the world, please come see and bring me out of this. 
Mirim Yesh Emes Bedvorim Shul Bedvorim Shulcha. Let's let me see if these there's truth to the words. The Japanese knights boys ain't all. The Japanese guy, the executioner, raised his eyes upwards. At Soros Pehine Pesacherev, and he raised up the sword to bring it down. I'll Atzimus Einov. I'll close his eyes. Zeo Zeo Hegiaso. Because that's it. That's going to be the end. The Feta, momentarily, just moments before that sword came down. Shemach Hold Noshi Dak Bako Bakoi Befate Acheri. He heard the voice of a woman yelling out from another room. Who pikach as Enav? He opened up his eyes. He lifted his eyes. Amavosis were hearing the isha yafnid. He saw there was a Japanese woman. She nichtas al lecheder v'achalek l'tzon. She came into the room and she began screaming. Ma karalecha? What are you doing? Ma pito matamot simot el harag? Why are you bringing this person out to kill him? Are a bechor Yisraeli hazeh? He's a less high eye, less high yeladi. This Israeli boy. Saved my life and my children's life. Lacher kamer agayim. After several moments, he's buried. It was clear. She so ishto shavros hoizuka. This was the wife of the head of the mafia. Shepakudaso nerecha hotzat l'horein. Under his rule, they caused, they made this decree to kill him. Abal nisel of ari abal she ishto shachar. So. The head of the mafia went over to ask his wife, "What? Why she's? Why she's screaming? What happened?" The Iskirulo, and she reminded him, that five years before, he There was a great earthquake. Five years before, a great earthquake in their city, by Israeli Hazeh, and this Israeli boy. He, with his, with great strength, he saved my life and the lives of my children. I'll he beat ba zavit ino. So I'll looked at this out of the corner of his eyes. Kisharosho adayin akud below hamin lemashma ino. His his head was still extended on the. Uh, the chopping block, he didn't believe what he was hearing. Uh, the head of the mafia got together with the other people there. They decided because of the, there was a law that the mafia had. That you have to give good to somebody who, sai, who saved the life. Of one of their of one of their members, and you have to give him life for that saving of life. So the Achim Shnitzel Bederach Kobilti Tzfuya. After after he went on his way, Nisa Ayel Lahavi Echigia Isha Azos Rega Hakrova. Where did this woman come from at the last moment? Or what kind? Of, what earthquake was she talking about? He was talking about something that happened five years before. He was only been in Japan in the, in the, in the, in the East for less than two years. So what is this five years? How did this happen? Uh, so he explained this, and it was understood. It was another Israeli who saved this woman and her children. Oh, oh, people from Israel look the same. Rab Yosvi, he he was amazed at the story. I'll see Mr. Borov Omru, and he said, I'll finish his words by saying, Eich shelo yia, no matter, regardless how it happened, chayi nitnali b'matana, my life was given to me as a present, b'schus ha-medrash, ha-mufala, ala cherem b'chada, because of the, the marvelous story you told about the, the, the sword 
uh, about to cut off uh, Moshe Rabbeinu's head. Lacher mikri chlati lach zor miyan the Israel. After that, I decided immediately to come back to to Eretz Yisrael. The lacher sheigati, and after I came back, Chazra adera Chazra l'shir ashvu yishalcha ha'itikatzora. The the way to this to your shear was very short. So the key, the key to this, and this is the secret of of Pesach Sheni. The key to this was he asked, he asked to be forgiven. He asked for a second chance. He, he remembered what happened and he asked, he made a, made a request. He screamed out to God. And that's the key. Now I'm going to continue with uh, English Torah from uh, uh, Yeshiva Simcha Shlomo from from Shalom brought Oliver Shalom. A happy and meaningful Pesach Sheni, second Pesach. The 14th of Iyar is Pesach Sheni, the second Pesach. Today we observe Pesach Sheni by eating matzah on this day. Chumetz may be eaten as usual. Pesach Sheni first came about one year after the Exodus as follows. Hashem has spoken to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the first month of the second year, after they, came, after they came, out land, came out of the land of Egypt, saying, let the children of Israel keep the Passover in its appointed season. But there were some people who could not participate, but they had become tome, they become ritually impure through contact with the dead body and could not therefore prepare the Passover offering on that day. So they approached Moshe and Aaron, they said, why should we, de why should we de be deprived and not be able to present God's offering in this time? among the children of Israel. In response to their sincere yearning, Hashem said, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any man of you or of your generations shall be unclean by reason of a dead body, or be in a journey afar off, yet he shall keep the Passover to the Lord. In the second month, on the fourteenth day at dusk, they shall keep it. They shall eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Pesach Shani, he says, represents the gift of the second chance. We have to recognize the tremendous gift that Hashem gives us to have a second chance in our lives, not only for Pesach Shani, but every every aspect of our life. And he brings a quote from Rav Shlomo, Rav Shlomo Karabach al Shalom. He says, Amalek is anti-God. What's Amalek saying? Amalek comes and tells you it's too late. You can't fix it anymore. It's too late. Forget it. It's not for you. You know, I've said before, the gematria, the numerical value of the word amolek is suffix, is doubt. Once put doubt in your mind. You see, amolek is the one who says to you, imagine I, imagine I decide I want to do something almost absolutely beautiful. Amolek says, I know you for so long. For you, it's like a little holiness attack. You'll do it for three days. Then you go right back where you came from. Forget it. It's too late to change. Everything is too late. You know, Rav Shlomo says, there's no peace in the world. Because Amalek is sitting there, right? And he says, listen, they're killing each other for so long. And suddenly they'll change? Forget it, right? I always tell my friends, there are so many divorces in the world. And I could swear to it that brother Amalek was standing under the chuppah and telling some I'd love to see how long this marriage lasts, you know? And the vibrations are, I mean, you can see it when anybody starts doing something good right away. Amalek says, ah, it won't last. Amalek. You know, tonight is exactly four weeks after Pesach. And again, we have more time later. I just want to tell you fast. The second chance, you're not given a second chance just like this. You have to ask for it. If you don't ask, you don't get it. I don't have to ask God every Pesach. Please let me make a Seder. I mean, I'm asking God, let me make a good Seder. But it's Pesach anyway. Pesach Shani, I have to ask. That's the message of Pesach Shani. And it's such an important message to remember. In Yimish Olam, there is no giving up in this world. 
Hashem is always there. Even if the sword is on your neck, Hashem is always there to give us rahman, to give us mercy. All we need to do is ask. So let us take this message to heart about Pesach Shani. Ask Hashem for our second chances in life. And if we ask sincerely and show how closely we want to come to Hashem, Hashem will answer our tefillot. Thank you for listening. I'm going to uh, turn the recording off.